Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today another little KP's quickie. I'm going to show you how to make the best natural chicken stock ever. All right, and you can uh, just put put this aside in the freezer if you need to later on, and you can just take it out and use it whenever you need to. All right, here I've got around about 1.6 kilos of chicken drumsticks. Okay, I've just bought those uh, on special from my uh, local supermarket, and uh, all I'm going to do is put these chicken drumsticks into my slow cooker it's just the easiest way to make a really good chicken stock all right so all we're going to do layer those out just in a, a nice even layer just like that now we're going to need a bit of salt and i'm going to add in around about one and a half tablespoons worth of salt for that many legs all right you can go less you can go more if you want now for my slow cooker it's a six liter but i'm because of all the drumsticks, I'm going to add in four liters of cold water. That's going to go straight in, just like that. Really nice and simple. And uh, the beauty with making chicken stock like this is uh, you can use the meat from the, those chicken legs to make up another dish, which you'll be able to see later on on this channel, of course. I've put that in the slow cooker, and I've got that sitting on high. I'm just going to let it uh, simmer away for about four hours. All right, just let it go and it's the beautiful thing with doing this is like a set and forget all right so uh, you just let it simmer away let it do its thing for about four hours now what i'm going to do now i'm going to take out all the meat skin and bones i'm going to set that aside into a separate bowl because i'm going to make another dish a little bit later on all right so i'm just going to remove all of those now we are going to end up with some impurities in that stock as you can see at the moment it looks a little bit oily it's got little floaty bits all right i'm going to show you a great way to get rid of that get another bowl get yourself a, a little colander or a sieve just like that and i'm going to put down about three to four layers worth of kitchen towel or kitchen paper should i say that's going to go down and i'm also going to add in a kitchen towelette on top very very clean and brand new of course i actually buy this stuff on a big roll all right, all I'm simply going to do now is ladle all of that stuff that we've just made in the slow cooker just through all of those layers that we've uh, put in the colander. Now, with the uh, kitchen towel, that's going to get rid of all the impurities. The paper towel is going to trap a lot of the fat. We don't want to get rid of all the fat. We want to get rid of a lot of it, right? So that will just allow a nice amount of fat to drip through into our stock. So just keep doing that it'll take a little bit of time but before you know it there you go you've got your own best ever chicken stock and it's cost you almost nothing and uh i thought my saltiness was just right so obviously you try and make this one at home if you like this video hit that like button give me confidence and make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget to hit that notifications bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media leave a comment love reading love responding to them in the meantime if you want to learn how to make uh, something that you can use later on just like this you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again i'll have to use my chicken stock and another recipe see ya